What is up fam? Welcome to another cool adventure bringing you a very different type of video today But it's still gonna be an adventure joined by my wife here Melissa My bird Jupiter and of course my chickens up there in the background a couple days ago My son Max introduced me to this YouTube channel called Papa Jake and he makes these really cool box fort videos So a shout out to him. However, this isn't my very first box fort I used to make box forts as a kid as well as blanket forts tomorrow We have something very very special Coming and that's an epic solar eclipse a couple of weeks ago me and Melissa were sitting and James was sitting out here, too and we seen a bright green light shoot right down into my backyard. Yeah, seriously, like I'm not lying. And I had no idea about this whole solar eclipse thing. So maybe aliens and solar eclipses are connected somehow, some way. Yeah, it was like a blue green. Bluish green. It went fast too, it was weird. And it was like in the middle of the night. We thought it was a shooting star. It shot straight down, just like that. So I'm gonna create a really cool box fort, not only to witness the solar eclipse tomorrow, but maybe it might attract an alien. You guys are destroying my flower beds, for real. I'm being followed, no! Now my good friend Mo is gonna be creating a box fort as well. I have no idea, he hasn't told me what he's gonna be building. Yesterday we went dumpster diving for cardboard, AKA boxes, box forts. I did a live stream on my other channel. You can check it out. I'll give you a little little clip right here of what we went through. It was really fun. <gasps> bro, bro, look, there's stickers. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I wasn't planning on doing like dumpster diving, but oh my gosh, what the hell? I dare you to eat it. Is it expired? Ooh, that was spicy. I think I have plenty of boxes to build a box fort. I just finished cleaning my garage too. My original box fort idea was gonna be a McDonald's, you know, with a whole drive-through and everything. So if you want to see that, that might be coming up next. I did do a Twitter poll to what box fort I should build. And most people said all of the above, but most of the votes were on the whole solar eclipse thing and you know solar eclipse alien fort type thing it's gonna be fun i'm gonna try to create a type of fort that we could watch the solar eclipse maybe it could be like a an alien viewing station gosh it's so freaking hot i'm gonna open these windows i'm gonna take this car and pull it out of here and then we're gonna build the box fort start building it in here in the garage so we have to be able to move it as well okay let's do this When you're building a box fort, of course you're gonna need some boxes. Please do not spend your money on cardboard. There's tons of dumpsters out there that have this for free. Another thing you're gonna need is some tape. I'm using some really good duct tape. See that? It's called 3M. <laughs> Bugging me for boxes. I have a lot of boxes here, but he had a lot of boxes. So he must be building something really big. Let's go take a peek. What the hell is he doing? Oh. Look out. Look out. Look out. What are you building over there? That looks stupid. That, that looks stupid. Boo. I have no idea what Mo's building, but I guess you're gonna find out in a little bit. Uh, my 
flying saucer box fort is, I mean, it's coming out okay. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really, really cool. I might even put a jet on it and fly it to space. Okay, I have had to change three times during this whole fort video because it's been so hot. It feels way better. It's nighttime now, which, you know, we're more likely to see alien crafts anyways at nighttime. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but in a few days, well, in about a week or so, if you like aliens and stuff, we are going to be going to Area 51 really soon. So I might make a whole, like, alien video. Try to go to Area 51. Well, we're going to try. We might even try to fly our drones over Area 51. That might not be a good idea. My spaceship isn't coming out that great. I still have a little bit of work to do. I legit almost had a heat stroke out here. I mean, I was pouring sweat. I almost passed out. It was just so freaking hot. Hey, Cody. Hey, I was thinking about making a dog fort and maybe a chicken fork too. You just keep I got the anything. best idea ever. What? Why don't you make a big telescope to look at the solar eclipse tomorrow? I'm gonna put the telescope in here. The one that I got you. You can't look at it like that, are you crazy? You can't look at it through a telescope? Oh my gosh, you, you wanna go blind? Okay, all right, so no looking through telescopes, all right, bad idea. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you have sunglasses on. No, what about not even with sunglasses. No? You have to have special sunglasses for this. Okay. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Cody's gonna hang out outside with me, help me finish this spaceship. No, he's not. No? Huh? He'll run away. He'll be in the neighbor's yard and we won't even know. Okay, I have really bad ideas, I guess, right now. So I have a little bit more work to do. Can't wait to show you the finished result. Hopefully it's done by tonight. Mo finished his already. And I did kind of help him a little bit. Yes, I, I did see Moe's, but you haven't seen it yet. So, yeah, go check out his video. I'm sure he has a cool video that he made, too. They kind of got tired of me complaining, so they came out here to help. They don't look around anymore! I fix it, though. I fix it. We just moved my spaceship. And if you're wondering, yes, I did change for a fourth time. Not because it's hot out or anything, but I had some nice clothes on. Didn't want to ruin them. I am so freaking excited about my spaceship. Uh, AKA solar eclipse, alien, I don't know what you're gonna call it. I was a little worried at first because I only had one can of silver and most flying saucers are, you know, kind of silver-ish. But I was able to make this one can of spray paint work. I was literally seconds away from just destroying this thing and not even making a video about this. And I'm glad I didn't because as soon as I started applying the paint, it looked really cool. So here, I'm gonna give you a little little shot. You haven't seen the inside yet. The inside is a surprise, but you're gonna have to see this. This is cool. What do you think of my UFO, Holmes? That is cool. This is how I'm doing my windows. Now you can see the gray is a little blotchy, but you know, what do you want on one can of spray paint? I mean, this would have easily taken five cans of spray paint. If you ever use a spray paint, make sure you have a good ventilated area. You know, like outside. Pretty sure I have silver and black boogers. All right, we should totally make an alien here. I'm gonna do an alien head. Okay, that, that kind of looks like an alien. Cool. There you go. Awesome. Don't aliens usually come in threes? Let's do one here too. This would be mama alien. Kind of messed up her eye a little bit. Let's 
Sweet. I think I just ruined my spaceship with those alien heads. Melissa is complaining about smelling spray paint smell. And like all our doors are closed, so maybe it's just you can smell it on me. No, I can smell it before you came in here. Right. I was like, man, we're just spraying one outside and see what you were doing today. You wanna see my UFO? Looks pretty, looks pretty cool. Come tell me if it looks like a UFO. Alright, it's, right, it's right out there. UFOs in our yard! Oh, you like it? Yeah, it's really good. What? That's awesome. We got the windows? Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Here, let me turn it this way. Mm -hmm. Melissa said it was dope. It is dope. You should tell me it reminds you of that movie, The Explorers. They really do. Kind of. Oh, it stinks bad. Oh. Yeah. Very good, baby. Oh, God. Well, there's my alien right there. And I think we're ready to see a solar eclipse. The green light that fell? I'm telling you, that's why I think there's aliens in your backyard. So see, he's seen it too. And he's... He could barely even see. That's the second time I've seen something crazy like that in the backyard. You seen something else? What else did that you one see? One day I was sitting out by the fire and there was a light in the in the air and it started drifting to the right. I'm like, oh, that's weird. But then all of a sudden it went back to the left and then it went this way and then it went down. And I'm like, unless it was somebody's drone, but I don't think so. Cause no, drones don't like fly a drone like that. To me. We've been hearing crazy noises in the backyard. Lately. We have been hearing some noises in my backyard. If you want me to make another video where I maybe do an alien hunt here close by because I'm telling you three people saw it and it was a green light went right in my backyard I mean I think it went in the next yard over I have access to those woods over there we'll maybe do a whole investigation on the yard and see if there's aliens back there who knows we might catch a little green guy on camera not sure there's one thing that we're missing right now why are you guys laughing at me Ooh, that's great Okay, uh, you want to wear one too? No? You should put one around my hat. One around your hat? You want to wear one too? Yeah, I do You look like some Hershey Kisses. <laughs> you look like a smart one, yours. I do? Yeah. <laughs> need something else. I don't know. What do you mean? Like what? I don't know. We need like some kind of robe. <laughs> you do not need a robe. You need a robe. Like a red one. I have a pink one. Have some glow sticks. No, let's get some saran wrap and we'll glow sticks. Glow sticks. Glow sticks would be cool. Glow sticks would be cool on your port on your port. Do a thumbnail shot. It almost looks like a birthday cake, <laughs> like with candles. Yeah. Maybe yeah. covered up though. Like you paint that out, right? Put like a question a, mark. Yeah, I'm gonna put a yeah, question mark yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, you haven't seen the inside yet, though. No. It, it looks cool. It's almost exactly how alien crafts are supposed to look like on the inside. Let's go have a look. Yeah. Open that up right there. See, only aliens are allowed. We're okay. We're alien. Like. <laughs> oh, uh, it fell off. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it smells bad in here. Smells like paint peeling. <laughs> Yours fell off too. I'm not protected, I don't know. Come on, Melissa. Come on, Melissa. Okay. Uh, it smells better in here. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's a lot it's better filtered. in here. It's filtered. Uh, too late. <laughs> yeah. All right, your turn. <laughs> All right, your turn. Come on. Okay. Right, no, no, there's room. Come on. No girls allowed, anyways. Yeah. Go away. What's that? So, Ooh, it, <laughs> it looks cool. Though. It looks cool. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm dying to see what this thing looks like on fire, especially with all the all the spray paint. <laughs> this thing doesn't want to stay on me. But, anyways, uh, I am not spending the night in here, but at least we made a cool video. And if you want to see more box fort videos, let me know. I'm thinking about doing some more. Uh, this one was pretty difficult, much more difficult than the ones I made as a kid. And I, I give all of the people out there a big high five because, you know, all the ones that work hard on 
these box forts because they are hard work. I've been working on this all day in the hot sun and I took multiple breaks because of the hot sun too. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of work. Anyways, uh, let me know what kind of box fort you want me to create next. Also, go check out my friend Mo because he made a really cool box fort as well. I sort of took a peek at it later and he was like, hey man, you got any ideas? And I did give him some pretty cool ideas for it. Shout out to my friend James too for helping me put a roof on this thing because that was one of the biggest struggles. And please don't look at the sun for that eclipse, okay man? Like, Be really careful. He made a video on how to look at the eclipse and do it safely without ruining your eyes. You're gonna have to go to his channel to see what I'm talking about. It's something you could do at home if you ran out of, you know, all the stores ran out of those glasses. So it's something that you can create at home with uh, household things to look at the solar eclipse. Be safe, man. Love you. Give me a gift.